the Speaker of the National Assembly who took it upon himself to reinvigorate a parliamentary friendship group with Afghanistan and to start looking at the problems at a time when we could least afford to do so. March 2020, the world did not know about COVID or as much about COVID as we do now. Sure, we have the vaccine. Certainly, we've managed to open up air corridors, freight corridors. But in March 2020, the position was very different. With the sealing of the borders, Afghan traders in particular suffered disproportionately. Being a landlocked country and, tra and trading through, uh, at this point, in Karachi, it was very difficult for Afghan traders to bring over their uh, products, their cargo, which was stuck in Karachi, uh, sometimes in Chaman, in Balochistan. And it took as much as 40 days to bring across a container. Now, the reason that we are talking about this today, it involves a large amount of transparency and honesty. Usually, governments don't do that. But the reason Pakistan is doing that is that we don't want to talk anymore about the potential that we have. We actually want to harvest that potential. And so without further ado, I hope the presentation is online. All right, so there's a technical glitch in putting up the presentation, but since I, uh, this is one of the few things I know by heart, I'm going to start. And we'll hand out the physical presentation. So starting March 2020, uh, June 2020, we finalized the working group, the executive committee of the Afghan-Pakistan Friendship Group. We did not wait for Afghanistan to initiate a similar um, friendship group. Instead, it was a unilateral uh, move. And usually, we have seen that the failure of states to move, move forward is because we premise everything on bilateralism and reciprocity. But sometimes, that is not a formula for success. That is simply a formula for delay. So therefore, looking at the position of Afghanistan and as well as Pakistan's obligations, both under CARIC as well as the WTO, we decided to move. We formed a loose group of about 15 to 20 members of parliament, most of them from the border areas uh, of Pakistan, Afghanistan, whether that was Balochistan or whether it was KPK, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. And we made small committees led by four or five members from different parties as well as the opposition. We wanted it to be a Pakistan uh, uh, parliamentary group, not a particularly PTI, which is the party we belong to, the governing party. We wanted this to have the backing of the entire country, and we did. And it was not easy. 